Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Enshrouded. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode two. We had enough material at the end of last episode to make this armor set, so I did. It's pretty easy to make. And now we're gonna make a couple other things before we go any further. I'm going to readjust my house here. So we're gonna go eight. So we can do this. We can move up to the walls. We're gonna change materials. Need the wood block. We're going to take that and remove it, and this and remove it, and we're going to move the window over here. Except we got to get the right material. Oh. And I'll show you why we're doing this. Because what we want to build is a little fireplace, which is kind of fun. So go down here and this way we can, don't have to run over to the other side of this area to cook with so we're and we're eventually going to make ourselves a bed but we need torn claw so we're going to make a little fireplace and you take this so what i'm going to do is place it right there actually is snap on snap will help you get it centered so that's why I like to do that. And then what we're going to do is this. We want to move over to this column. We want to switch it to the rock. And then we're going to turn snap off. So we can get a little more fine grain detail here. Like this. This. And you want to get behind there like that and then move up grab yourself one of these thing here. I want to get the front set up correctly like that. Okay, but it's got some extra over here. What you can do then, if you get a little extra and you don't want to do it, this is how you delete things. And the blue face on this transparent cube is the part that's going to be deleted. If you hit the right mouse button instead of the left one like I just did. So there you go. That gives you that. So now you've got a little, uh, a little cook spot here. Nope. I'm so bad at this. Okay, so there you go. You got a stove in there. It's a little it's a little further out than I usually make it, but that's okay. And if you want to go around to the back side, see usually I push it through and it shows up on the back side like an actual fireplace, but I'm not gonna get all up in its business today about that. And that was just a minor thing I wanted to do was get that ready to go so I can cook other stuff. So we'll take these. We'll put them back because we're going to need the storage space. we got some more water so we can put that away. Purple berries can be put away. This mushrooms can be put away. That can be put away. Rocks can be put away. Oh, no, we'll keep the rocks. We don't need to keep the stones, actually. All we need to do is have a flame altar on us. I recommend as long as you have the ability to build and place another flame altar. And remember, we start out with the ability to do two and you'll eventually be able to move up to eight. I think the smartest thing you can do is always have a flame altar on you. And then when you find some place that would make an, a great second base, you don't have to go searching for rocks. It's just there and it works. Anything that we could potentially lose that we don't want to lose, we want to move out of here. So nails, all that good stuff, wood, all this kind of stuff. So this, this box is full and that's cool. The other thing is we need to be able to build this uh, forge but we need charcoal to build it first, so we need charcoal kiln. So we're gonna build that first, and I'll show you how this works. We're gonna build stone, and then we're gonna come over here and build a charcoal kiln. And then we're gonna place it, and we can place it anywhere. I don't necessarily want it in here, but we need to we need to make some more room actually 
actually, this is this is a great great, great thing to do right now. Um, hold up, how much how much block and rough stone do we have? We have enough, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna come down here. There, we're gonna remove that and that. We're gonna go to rough stone right here. We're gonna say, hey. Let's just add right on to this bad boy. Voxel base, so it, it adds on very nicely. It won't let us build there because the building area, but we can build like this if we want to. We're just gonna build a little area back here. This is what I love about voxels, is that if it wasn't voxels, you'd have to mate up the sides correctly and you wouldn't be able to do that kind of an overlap. But since we have voxels, again, now we'll come over here, switch to wood, say, hey, build that. And we can give ourselves a window back here if we want to, just for a little scenic beauty. Oh, and it looks like I built the built it too low. Like I said, I didn't build it too low, but we do have to put a roof on this thing, so. Oh yeah, how far does it go? It goes like this. Okay. It's so easy to fix. That's what that's what makes it really nice. And then we'll need our roof tiles. Don't have a lot of those left. So what would be the easiest thing to do here? Probably this. Oh, and do we not even have an... Oh, it's outside the building area. Okay. This is going to be the awkward part. Gonna work? Yeah, it kinda is, isn't it? Okay. The roof kinda comes through there though. I'm not real fond of that. Alright. In that case, let's just do this. Hitting the wrong thing. You can always hit the Y key to undo something. This is what I need right here. Okay. Now we do this. There we go. Get that in there. That helps. Alright. Now we can do this. We got the tiniest of slivers there. That other one needs to be kind of deleted, doesn't it? There we go. Do that over here. There we go. And now you have a roof. Great. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Oh, we got it at a weird height. Uh, well, I'm not going to worry too much about it for right now. This is a temporary house. <laughs> We're not going to be here for long. All right, let's take this thing and place it over here. Rotate it around like right there. You can take in, again, take snapping off. And then it, to rotate 
exactly the way you want. You hold the R key down and use your mouse. So there. So what you want to make out of this, this is what's going to give you, it's a factory, it says, wood logs and dirt. So if we take a bunch of wood logs and a bunch of dirt and put them in there, it's going to make this stuff for us over time. So every five minutes, it's going to make uh, a certain number of charcoal. And you'll need charcoal throughout the game. So plan on building one of those and then keep putting stuff in there with it. All right, rock out of here. Twigs, I guess we can get rid of. The rest of it we can save. Let's boogie. Okay. It's time to adventure. We have a lot of stuff to do here. First thing we're going to do is go get the spire. But along the way, we're going to grab a whole bunch of good stuff. Come here, buddy. What are you doing? You going to come after me? We'll need his leather. We can collect rocks as we go, but I'm not really prioritizing that this time. Mushrooms, yes, though. Again, remember, these are going to be potions along with berries. I kind of stunned him. And I did make some arrows. Arrows are very easy to make. All you need for a cheap wooden arrow is twigs. So, And then we can make a shield. We need wood logs and string. Oh. Well, let's chop down a tree. Because we could really use a shield right now. The cheapest shield we can find. Just one we can make ourselves. See, you got a little resin from that tree. It wasn't a brown tree, but it had resin. That's your rare drop chance there. Let's make that shield. Equip it. That's better. Okay. Onward. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go back here and get one more thing. Back to the Cinder Vault. We forgot one thing when we came out of the Cinder Vault in Episode 1. I had totally forgot that there was this little bit off to the side here. As you come out of here. Down in this cave. So we'll head on down here. You can get a free torch again if you want to, but we don't need it. If you go down this direction, then this is why we missed it, because we took those we took that direction over there. But if you come down here, oh, there's usually explosives right here. Okay. But there's a There's a wall you can get through really easily. A rubble wall. With a rubble wall. We yell more, more, more. So there's this up here. And it's going to give us a hatchet. And there's a note to read that says, Gather round. We're drinking an ode to the queen once young. So there's that. But what we can do then is just take this and get the salvage the runes out of it. Rubble, I haven't found any use for rubble, actually. I think it's one of the few things in the game for which there is no actual use. So we won't worry about it. Just delete it away. All right, here we go. Back to adventure. Let's see, we're, we're rested for a minute and 13, so we're, our stamina is not going to last that long. But we'll head down here, we'll cross the bridge, and there's the first spire tower. And that's going to give us an access to a lot of really nice places close by. 
and in, in including in addition to a location that's going to get us our first really good legendary weapon that we're going to use for a lot of the game. Snaggle me. Twenty nine seconds. Make use of that stamina. What's he got on it? Metal scraps. Always grab those. You want to watch out for these. And if you can, let's get this guy. Come here, buddy. There he goes. Walk over here. Oh. There he goes. He goes down. Gives us a bunch of good stuff, but the important thing here is this. These things right here, this is what I was talking about last episode, these cages. They always result in metal scraps. So it's a good way to get them early. All right. Onward. So up in this direction, take the right path. It's going to be nighttime soon. There was a bed back there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Once we're in the tower, night and day doesn't really matter. Not enough stamina. The road is blocked, but we got this. There we go. him out. Now we have this loser. Come here, buddy. Oh, you sucker. Where are you? Alright, pal, come on. There's that. We're going to take this and salvage it. There is. Is there a bed in here we can sleep in until daytime? Oh, good. <clears throat> There's a bed here. Nighttime is great. The first part of night, of course, before the moon comes out, it's really dark like it just was. Then the moon comes out and it's really cool. But I just prefer to do everything in the daytime if I can, so... Check that stuff. What's what do we got here? We got another bag of water over there. We got this. We get a hunter's bow. My bow is an eight power. The hunter's bow is a ten power. And the sad thing about this is if you crafted this bow, oh well, let's see, it didn't. That's the hunter's bow, yeah. Okay. The bow that you craft, you can't get runes for it. Imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan stone, cold finger bones. The mark of a hidden tomb. Stairs inside lead into darkness. Torch in hand, you slip down into uncertainty, into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it family jewels? Heirlooms from faraway shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire. The cornerstone to a fortress raised from spilled blood. Sounds good. I know the rough location. If you take up the search, Gareth, I'll split the goods. Deal? 
So that gives us access to something hopefully new. What's it say? Yeah, so right here, the ancient spires. Which is neato. We'll take off and go this way. There might be some wolves up here. gonna grab twigs along the way because we can really use the plant fiber and mushrooms this poor bloke had a tree fall on him the lightning sets the skies ablaze it's my only source of light since the fire was doused by this merciless downpour of course i had seen the clouds gather before i left to search the hidden tomb i tasted the threat in the breeze despite the warning signs he pushed me to venture forth you can wait out the storm but the water may smother our treasure in mud can you bear to see our empire wash away gareth oh that silver-tongued devil the tomb is close by but wind and rain bar me from venturing further. These creaky trees scarcely shelter me, so I'll surely be so... And then he died. Poor boy. Okay, well. So there is up here the hidden tomb entry. Nice. We'll go deal with that in a bit right now. We're heading up here to the first puzzle. So here's something that's interesting. We all groused and complained about the simplicity and stupidity of the power acquisition in No Man's Sky. Not No Man's Sky. I mean, Starfield. You know, the power is so dumb. And then here comes this game and they're like, yeah, we have these giant spires that in a way give you a power because they give you a chance to fast travel and and squirrel shoot off of these things it's a great way to handle the traveling in the game and these towers actually have puzzles you know simplest thing in the world but it still makes it really cool the ancient spire beacons of light these spires stretch to the firmament and deny entry to those who are unworthy the ancient breed enters but i never see them leave i have two theories the ancient spires are somehow connected to one another and the silent ones travel between them as they please. Or two, the ancient spires serve as a burial site, similar to the flame shrine. The ancients store all knowledge of the land in the flame here when they leave the mortal plane. One way or another, I cannot enter. When I step on the ornate plate, nothing occurs. What a shame. Balthazar. Well, we're flameborn. It was meant for us, so... Step on it, and it'll teleport you higher. And here we are. So anytime you see one of these buttons, this is a hint. Some doors are locked, but can be opened by finding and pressing the correct button. And there you go. And usually a door will have, always a door will have a light above it that corresponds to the button. So ledges are things that you do want to check. This one lets us go in here and get a chest. A root staff. Oh, brilliant. Well, got my first staff. Excellent. That's nice. I dig that. Now over here. Go up this way. We can hear strange whisperings. What does it mean? And there is the overhang. That's why you need a grappling hook. You always want to be looking for buttons. And always out on these ledges. Not always. Sometimes on these ledges there are chests, which is why you want to look. Okay, so over there. What do we have down there? What is that little room? There another chest back here there is 
And it gave us fireball. Oh, well, I'm in love. Fireball is one of my favorite spells. Excellent. So you have to have the spell in your inventory to use it. And then it's going to have a number of charges. And this sets people off right away. And they're like, oh, that's lame. Well, don't worry about it. Because later in the game, you're going to get access to what we call uh, everlasting spells that don't have charges that you can just use over and over and over as much as you want. So very fun. Very nice. Out here on this ledge, nothing. Okay, up we go. So fireball and a staff we get right away. That's awesome. Because that's what we're going for is a battle mage type character. All right, what do we have over here? Stairs down. There's a button over there. So we know that door can be opened by something. The lava pit that will kill us really quickly. Okay. We will jump over there. If your stamina is getting drained, do that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that wasn't a gap there. Oh, that's funny. So over here, what do we have? Stairs, stairs, and teleporter. And the door. Okay. And that looks sharp and pointy. So a lot of these. Oh, uh, get out of there. A lot of times there are puzzles like that where you got to go around the corner and you just got to have faith that you're going to find the way out. <laughs> okay, so what do we have over here? We have a hop along. And is this a door that we can open? Is there anything in here? No. Oh, but you can climb up there. Because there's a button here. It's going to open something for us. I doubt there's anything back here. Oh, no, there's a chest. And there's more fireball. Great. And you can see below there's a door that has one of them's open. We press the button for one. This has got a golden chest in it, so we definitely want to try to unlock that thing. Okay, nothing else here but that. Let's go back out. So this presumably has... Okay, so there's something up there. You can sprint jump to cover more distance. Yeah. And there's a chest out here. And more fireball, which is great. Oh, no. Oh, get out of there. I'm going to die. I'm not, I'm not doing this very well. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, we only got the one thing right here. Oh, God. Can I jump up there? Ah, that's no good. Okay. Can I... Can I get to it? I need double jump is what I need, it seems like. Mm. That's no bueno. Let's do this. Food. Yeah, can I sprint jump it from here? Nope. Nope, can't. Oh, I can almost get it that way. Okay, I can do this. I just gotta get my hands in the right configuration. Like that. There we go. 
Oh no, we're gonna fall. Dang it. Okay. Gotta wait for all my stamina to come back. Let's do a honeycomb so we have fast stamina regeneration. Let's do another one of these so we can get all of our hit points back. If you right click while you're gliding, it'll immediately stop you and put you into a stance. So that's what we're trying to do here. Uh -oh. If I can hit the glider. Oh my God, I've completely forgotten what to do to glide. Okay. That's it. Uh, I had it the one time. It's really a timing issue here. Hmm. Okay, now we have it. Let's do this. Maximum stamina, let's go. Get up here. And there's the button. Okay. That's going to unlock the door. It's going to give us access to the golden chest. What's in it? A crackling wand. That's awesome. We get our first wand. Okay. That is fantastic. And it's right where? Right here. Okay. Great. Fantastic. That's what we needed. Now we have a wand. Wands are awesome. Up we go. I think this is the last level. So we got a staff, several spells, and a wand all by doing this first spire. That's fantastic. I mean, with the flame, the ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Embervale. Venture forth, child. The land must be reclaimed. And it will be. So, that's the first part. Now guess where we want to go. West. Down there. That location right there, see that house down there? That's our first prime location for building our forever home. Although it won't be a forever home because there are better places later. But this is like our first home that we're going to put a lot of effort into. And then way beyond there, you can see way over there. That's another location that we want to go to. And to the left of it, which you can't see is hidden, is a location that holds a weapon that we really want. So we're going to go get that stuff. We're going to head down to this house. We're going to place our flame spire. Our flame shroud. Our shroud flame. Whatever that thing's called. Yes, I know. Oh, when we died. Oh, rats. Okay. I thought we could make that. Dang it. Well then. Back to the west. So you get to see what happens when you die. Let's eat some food here. And then we'll grab one of these. I really thought I could make that. Hey. Let's try again then. Then we're going to have to land sooner. Let's do this. We're going to shoot for this one. And then we'll give our chance, a self a chance to rest here. And then we can aim for the one down below there. We'll do this in pieces. There we go. See little garden plots there. Oh no. I'm dumb. Where's it's up there. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, we can do, we can do that again. I forget that it's not where you died at that your stuff drops. It's where you like if you jumped from somewhere, it's there. It's right over here and I completely missed it. Where is it at? 
Where is mine at? It's supposed to be like right here. Uh, where is... Oh, it's right over here. Okay. That's where it's at. So, listen. Listen for everyone. That's how you handle that. Yeah, it's where you jump from. They do a really smart thing with that. They're like, well, the last plant this character jumped from is right here. I think we can get all the way down to this bluff right here first. I'm so used to playing the game with my high level character and you get the fourth level wingsuit and you can travel forever, which is just a blast. So we went down here, cleared this out. There's going to be some wolves and stuff, but this is also the first uh, gray, first golden chest that you can really farm over and over is down here. I'll show you where it is. Doink. Take that, you sucker. Come here, doggy. Okay. Oh, nice of you to show up. Okay, that's full. Bones are the least important thing. We'll get the rest of that later. So what we're going to do is this. We want to take this and drop it here. But what we want to do is we don't want to cover up that barn straight across from us and the well. We don't want to cover up the well either. So what we want to do is place this thing over here and then it's going to expand. So by placing it over here, enemies nearby. So you have to clear the enemies first. Find all of them first. And I think some of them are probably in this house. There's usually rats. Yeah. Usually rats, threats nearby. There's one right there. I think that's all the rats. Oh, I hear one of them. Where is he? Okay. Last rat. Okay, so that's done. We should be able to lay it down there. Now you can see comfort level four here. It's not much. It's going to go up later though. Plus there's a bunch of stuff in here you can recycle. So makes for a nice little place. Loot that. And then over here, rats anywhere else? There's a rat somewhere. Might be in the house here. He's somewhere. Because you can hear him. They came in droves again yesterday, sunburnt heathens. They twist and mangle their bodies every time they bow to their gods, their idols, the ancients. Too many mouths to feed. They only want alms. I'd send them back to the Kindle Waste. They won't fool me. I buried my treasure in the fence lot underneath the small shelter not far from here. They won't find it when it's hidden beneath the mud. Tonight, I'll sleep deeply. That's the golden one we're talking about. There's a golden... Golden ticket out there. You can hear this last rat. Where is it? Maybe it's upstairs. Or maybe it's in here. Yes, no? Is this a hidden floor? It is. Oh, look. And you can actually make those. 
you can make those hidden passages like that. Which is pretty cool. Okay, it's in there somewhere. I can hear it. It's got to be upstairs. Where are you? Punxsutawney. I'm still not here. I'm hearing him, but he's just not here. See, and so, like, there's already a bed here that we want to be able to loot here in a minute. So, oh, and then what do we have here? Do we have a room here? The commode. What's up here? A room. With a chest. Nice. Scrap arrow and heal channel. We're not going to use that. We don't have any room to pick it up right now anyway. Fun. Okay. So this becomes a, a house that we can fix. Which is really nice. But let's go see if we can put this up now. Not enough free space. You just gotta move it around and it'll say enemies nearby. Where is this thing? Uh. Oh, there's an enemy over there? Okay. Where where did you come from? Where on earth did you come from? You goof. Enemies nearby, it's saying still. Gotta be down in this house. Oh, there it is. Okay, he was trapped in the corner. He couldn't get away. That's why he was screaming so much. <laughs> Alright, now we should be clear to do this. So. Yep, so flame altar. So we don't... You can see kind of how far it is, and it's going to be double that. So I kind of want to put it, like, right about here. I think this will be good. You can always move it later by creating a second flame altar. So you'll delete the first one and plant plant the second one and delete the first one. And they only take five stones, so. The ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud, yet some sparks still linger, flickering in the dark. A hunter, once the fiercest in the land, and an alchemist with knowledge of the ages, awaken them, for they will help you along their journey. So. And you can upgrade this altar, but we can't because we don't have a shroud core. That's what we want to do is upgrade it so it encompasses that building and this building. And I believe that the comfort becomes cumulative. Like if there's comfort in this building, which I don't think there is, it would add to this building over here. But that's all well and good right now. We want to go over here. So this is one of the reasons I like this spot is because there is a well. And then I like to go down here and create a marker and make it a green bag so I know there's a there's a well here. Now here's the here's the key. Come over here. All you have to do is take a couple of beats there and you get a bronze sword. Very nice, and their backpack is full. So we have to figure out if there's anything that we can afford to get rid of, like bones. It's pretty easy. So now we get a really nice little weapon here. Very cool. We get the bronze sword. And what that looks like is this. We'll switch it with this and we'll take this and salvage it. And that'll give us another slot. So our bronze sword. Sharp. Pointy. That's the sword we crafted. This is the bronze sword. See the difference here? It's got 14 damage, and then it's got a bunch of cutting, piercing, and ambush damage that you can do when you want to upgrade it. You need runes to upgrade it. This also has 16 damage, but you can't upgrade it to anything. So it's, you know, the backup. So that gives us that flame altar. We're going to want to start building things here. And there's a honeycomb over here. It's really nice. So I want to go drop some stuff off and then we're going to come back and go get the other sword that we really want. And that'll be the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. 
and he's got a new quest for us. So we'll take this and anything like mushrooms and resin we can stack back in there and those and wood and stone and leather. All this stuff we can just stack, stack, stack. Twigs, metal scraps. Oh, we, we're out of room here. That's why we made two of them. Put the metal scraps in here. The runes, let's see. So we have we have 26 we have 49 runes let's see what it costs to upgrade this weapon Out to salvage items he's going to tell you about salvaging your items but we already know how to do that adding enhancements would you look at that you salvage some items now you can use runes to enhance your weapons and then what's it going to cost to enhance this bronze sword for instance 12 runes so we're not going to worry about that, though, because we're actually going to get a better weapon. I just want to make sure we have enough room here to do stuff. So, like, get rid of those. And then I don't want to lose my runes in case I can't get my corpse back, so we'll drop them off here. Everything else can come with us. Oh, except for rubble it can be deleted. Okay. So, we'll do this to refresh all of our weapons, make them nice and pointy and sharp. And then we'll come over here. This is when I wish you could name your homes. It'd be kind of cool, but you can't. So might be something that comes later. Now, here's where we need to go. We need to go in this direction right about my cat. Let's see, what is that? Ancient Vault, Bridge Construction Report. Ancient Vault Blacksmith. Ancient Vault for the Hunter. Where the heck is the Spire? It's right there. It's pointed in that direction. Why is the spire not unlocked? That's a little odd. Okay. We're going to have to figure that out. This should be unlocked. There should be a marker there. I wonder if it comes back. Well, we're going to set a waypoint over here and head in this direction. Although it's going to get dark soon, isn't it? All right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to wait for darkness so that we can flip sunshine over and then we're going to head off in that direction and go do that. Okay, it's daytime again and here's what happened. I went back and I logged out of the game to the main menu and logged back in and the ancient spire shows up. Didn't have to do anything else. And since I logged out, everything is going to be refreshed here in terms of animals. And that also means the golden chest is refreshed, so we might as well go over here. And try to open it up. And we get an apprentice wand out of it. Bones. Bones aren't nearly enough. Okay, so an apprentice wand, this one's going to do plus two mana regeneration. That's really nice. What about this wand over here? It also has plus two mana regeneration, overcharge attack speed, and it does fire damage. This one does ice magic protection, fire. This one does a bunch of protection. I don't care about that. We're going to salvage it. We're going to want that. Okay. So where we're going to head off is in that direction. We want to go west. Through these fields, and actually what we'd really like to do here, is we've got some chicken. Put that right there. That way our maximum health can be increased, and we should probably also spend a little bit to get ourselves bumped up, because there's there could be some scary things over here. This is a crypt that we will dig around in Woodguard. Right over there, you can see there's an orange thing in the distance that's a it's another note, but there's there's loot in here we want to get. 
eventually. A refuge, a small caravan of refugees arrived today from the Kindle Waste. A long journey. I've never been good with strangers, but there was no time to tattle. I dove into work dressing the wounds. A battle for life and death, even now. Sadly, some lost. We put them to rest in the crypt below. May the northern winds guide them to the afterlife. There is one who might live despite it all. A deep leg wound, but maybe not too far gone. The wounded Salim smiles a lot. Says he owes me his life. Just luck, I think. Okay. So. Let's head out this way. There's a... There's a location here. Oh, there's an upstairs. Smashed by rubble. A downstairs? Nope. There is not. Okay. We can investigate that more thoroughly later. Because I'm on a mission for the end of this episode here. There's a really nice weapon we want to get our hands on. Oh, and this is why you want to have a wand. Because it takes down the bees really well. And then for these kinds of trees where there's multiple beehives in there... I figured out the most effective thing is just cut the tree down. Oh, and we're going to get some resin out of that, too. So, sometimes... They'll fall all the way down. Sometimes they won't. But you can still get all that delicious honey. Bunch of mushrooms here. I'm always cautious when I build a new settlement next to one of these places is to not envelope these these planters because you want them to regenerate. And if you pick them on your own and inside of your settlement box, inside of your settlement building area, they won't grow back. These ones are good. These flowers right here. These ones will give you plus two to spirit, which will allow you to cast more spells. very useful for a battle mage or a straight up mage let's torch this guy shall we oh ho, ho, fireball did it that was nice I don't want to waste those but that was really nice we're going to need them sometimes the game gets stuck doesn't happen very often. It's usually right after killing an enemy. Alright. Back in this direction. And another honeycomb. That's a place that we definitely want to go to later. What's over there, does it say? It's the ancient vault for the alchemist. We definitely want that. And there's a bunch of wolves over there. Not too worried about them, though. We want to go to the left of this. Look at the cute little bunnies with the giant ears. That's right where we want to go, just about, it looks like. Back in this direction. Somewhere back here is a little cavern, a little secreted away cavern. It's right over here, actually. Right there, that's what we want. Lots of guys to fight here. Yeah, he's dead. Let's get this guy. Oh, 
Okay, dead guys. Ooh, and an elixir. I can only turn left or right. I can't go straight. It, for some reason, it gets wrapped up in there. I don't know why. I'd be curious to know if anybody else has run into that issue. Because it's really awkward. It, it like happens right after you loot there. So it's a little bit weird. Okay, those things. There's some water right here. Now there's going to be one more loser down here. Is there not? Or is he not here? Oh, he came out with the other guys. Okay, cool. So this is a scavenger stash, and unlike some other gold chests like the one we found earlier by that village that we've that we're gonna use over and over and over, it, you'll get a random item from that gold chest every time. This one will always give you the same item, and it's gonna give you this: the wailing blade. Very nice weapon. Your first. Major, it's got it's got a little bit of a light peeling off of it, which is really nice. So, delete that one. So that is the key there. We got that guy. So, let's fast travel back to here, our first home that has all of the the boxes that we can store things in storage containers we'll put stuff away anything that can stack really bones resin you can't stack any more of those in there in that case what is this this is a grilled red mushroom okay let's do this I got a bunch of mushrooms, don't I? I can start making potions as soon as we can go get the alchemist. It'd be really good. Excellent. Let's take this item and put it down here. We don't need all these torches. A lot of that stuff can go away. We're going to hang on to these. So the thing that we're actually going to want to upgrade is that first sword, that primary one. And he's going to tell us, the Wailing Blade. You claim the Wailing Blade? I forged it for her. Cross before she left me. Fine. You may wield it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart, Flameborn. It's what my daughter would want. So he made it for his daughter. Very nice. We're going to go up here, Wailing Blade, and we're going to say... Upgrade, then it's going to cost us 15 to upgrade to the next one for an additional three piercing damage, cutting damage, blunt damage, and now we don't have enough for the last piece, but there it's upgraded pretty well. So it's a nice little upgraded weapon. So there we go. We got the Wailing Blade. Episode two is done. <laughs> I'm going to maybe do a little farming. We have to take these runes. We got to go get the alchemist next episode, I think, would be the thing to do. Because what we want to be able to do, and I think we need the alchemist to do it, is we've got to be able to take the shroud spores and turn them into more condensed versions of themselves. So, we'll do that. Do I have any water over here? Duh. Agua? Oh, I do. Okay. I'm going to move that over here. My haphazard organization. What's happening here? Rebel, you can get rid of that. There we go. All right, folks. That's going to do it for episode number two. Enshrouded. Fantastic game. So much fun. Thanks for sticking around with me. As usual, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.